In this video, we are going to see how to add QuickBase contacts to Google Sheets. So let's say you are using QuickBase as a cloud-based software where you can create custom applications. And here, every time a contact is added, so you want that the details of that contact should also be added to your spreadsheet here, let's say Google Sheet. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be QuickBase and your action application would be Google Sheets. So, every time a contact is added here, so the details would be added as a new row in your spreadsheet. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up, it won't take more than 2 minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now I am going to click on sign in as I am an existing user over here. And here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side we can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. As we do that, a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is that every time a contact is created in QuickBase, then the details should also become a part of the Google Sheet that I have. So now I'm going to click on Create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is Trigger, another one is Action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Here my trigger application would be QuickBase. So I'm going to click on this. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow start. So here it would be to configure contact webhooks. So basically this will trigger when a contact is added, deleted or modified. So I'm going to click on this. And here we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge to connect Pabli Connect with QuickBase so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information. So now I'm going to copy this. And then we have to follow the steps mentioned below so that we can set up this connection. So now I'm going to take you to my QuickBase account. I have already logged in here. You can create applications here. So I have already created this app, test app. I'm going to click on this. So once done, here we have to go to customer table. So you can see that I've already created a contact and now I'm going to create another one. So I'm going to take you to settings. So once we are here, let's go to webhooks and now let's click on new webhook. So as we reach here, so we have to name our webhook. So let it be webhook hashtag two. Now if you want to add a description, you can do that. Now when a customer is, so when do you want this webhook to run? So when a customer is modified, added, deleted, modified or added, modified or deleted, added or deleted, all modified, added or deleted. So you have got different actions over here. I want to add a contact, so I'm going to select added. Now let's say that you wish to have the three actions. So every time a customer or the contact is modified, added or deleted, you want this workflow to run. So you can select this. Later you can apply filters and routers if you want to go with specific actions. So once this is done, we have to here paste the endpoint URL that we have received to Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this, go back here and paste this over here. So once done, what is the HTTP method? So here you can see it is written that the HTTP method has to be selected as post and message format has to be selected as JSON. So here I'm going to select it as post and the message format would be JSON. Once done, the message header. So here you can see that use content type as key and application JSON as value in message header field. So I'm going to copy this. As I do that, I go back and here I'm going to paste. Now go back to Pabli Connect. Then this has to be taken as value. So I'm going to copy this, go back here and paste this over here. 
So once this is done, now the message body. So again, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Here it is written in message body field choose the fields and markers you want and pass it on in pass it in JSON format like this. So we are going to select this copy, go back to test app and here I'm going to paste this. Once we have done this, now basically these are all the keys that you wish to have. So let's say that to create a contact in QuickBase, I want to have first name, last name, then I also wish to have the email address and mobile number. So how do you do it? So this is like it starts with the bracket and it always has to close with a bracket. Now you have to put double inverted commas then write first name without a space in between. Put a colon. Again, you have to run inverted comma. From here, you have to select the field. So it's the first name. See, this is how it will appear. Then you want last name. Follow the same process. And here I'm going to choose last name. So here it is. Then let's say I wish to have the email address. So I'm going to put double inverted commas. Then I'm going to write email. Close it with double inverted comma. Put a colon. And then again put double inverted comma. Go to choose fields and markers and look for email. So here it is. And then you have to close it with double inverted comma and put a comma. Once done, what is the last thing that I need? So I wish to have the contact number. So here is the contact number. And okay, so here's the contact number. Now, once I have written this, I'm going to put double inverted comma, then a colon. Again, I open this with double inverted comma. Go here and look for mobile number. Here it is. And I'm going to close this with double inverted comma, put a comma, and then this is our event. This is the event. Basically, this is added, modified, or updated. Now, remember this thing. Here I have written contact number and here you can see it is mobile number. So it will also always appear as mobile number in our final format. Now it is written that the webhooks can be edited or copied by all admins in the app. Any user specific URLs or credentials you enter will be visible here. Once this is done, I'm going to click on save. And here you can see that my webhook has been created. This is the webhook, webhook 2. Now we are going to go back to Pabli Connect and here it is saying that now you have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response and we can get an affirmation that our integration is complete. So now I'm going to go back to QuickBase and here we are going to click on this plus icon and we are going to click on customer. Now here we have to create a new customer, a contact. So let's say the first name here is test, the last name here is demo. Then we have the email address which is testdemo at pablitudes.com and then we have the mobile number. Let's say it is this. I'm going to click on save and close. So here it is saying that the customer has been saved. If I take you here, customer table, so you can see that we have created another customer. The name is testdemo. This is the email address and we have the mobile number. So Going back to Public Connect, let's see if we have received the API response. Here it is. This is the last name, the first name, event, which is add, then the email address, and then we have the contact number. This is just a demo number. Now, what do I want? The information that I have just received in my Google Sheet. So I'm going to choose my action application as Google Sheet. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to add new row. Let's click on connect. Now here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. Now to set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection, sign in with Google. And then here we are going to select the account. So once done here, we have to provide the authorization. Let's click on continue. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Google Sheets is now connected with Pabli Connect. And here we have to map this information. This is mapping. Mapping basically means that I have already received this information in the previous step. I'm just going to retrieve it here. So if I click on this, so you will see all the sheets that I've created. Let me show you the sheet that I've just created. This is quick base contacts. This is the name of my spreadsheet. Within this, there is only one sheet with the following column fields. First name, last name, email address and contact number. 
So taking you back to Public Connect, here we have to map this entire information. Now mapping is important because if we map the information, so every time the workflow runs, it will be able to take the new data. And if we write this manually, it will only take the manually written data and never inculcate the new data. That is why mapping is extremely important. Now I'm going to map this information. So click on this. This is the first step and this is the first name. Then for the last name, again, we are going to go here. Then for the email address, so this is the email address. And then we have the contact number. So here's the contact number. Once received, I'm going to click on save and send this request. And here you can see that I have received the API response, which basically means that this information should become a part of my Google Sheet. Taking you to quick base contacts, here you can see that yes, we have received the desired information, which basically means that QuickBase is now successfully connected with Google Sheets. But now we also need to check this in real time. So I'm going to take you back to QuickBase and here I'm going to create another customer. So let's say the name of the customer is new123 and the last name here is user123. Then the email address here is new user123 at babblitudes.com. Then we have the mobile number. Let's click on save and close. So here we can see that the customer has been saved. And let's go and check our Google Sheet. I'm going to quickly refresh this. And here we can see that we have received the response. This is the first name new123, last name user123, email address is new user123 at babditudes.com and then we have the contact number. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where our trigger application is quick based. The event is configure contact webhooks. The action application is Google Sheets. The event is add new zoo. I hope this is extremely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box of this video. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any integration, specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.